So it's been an interesting few weeks with quite a few new courses coming out through some of the biggest training providers in the cybersecurity industry. So just overnight, there was the Q&A for the new Pen 100 course from Offensive Security. And I've sat down, I've watched the whole thing and just dissected all the key Q&A from that video to save your time. So one more thing, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay on top of cybersecurity education news. So let's get into it. So this Q&A was presented by Jeremy Miller, who is a product man manager at Offensive Security. So this was just a standard Q&A forum with a lot of fluff and I've just trimmed out most of it. So let's get straight into it. So overview of the course. So they were very clear that they did not want this to replace the PWK course. And it's pretty much structured on all prerequisite knowledge for the PWK. So you can hit the ground running when you get actually get into the PWK. So it's trying to fill those knowledge gaps in those areas with an emphasis and a focus within cybersecurity. So it's different from the PWK as in there's no actual pen testing going on. It might have, it might teach like permissions and things like that, but you won't actually be doing any actual exploitation or pen testing. Um, and it's not structured in the same way as PWK where you get the giant PDF and the labs. So this is, we suspect this is going to have some sort of web portal where you consume the information, um, all the knowledge topics and then answer questions on them. So these are smaller units which are designed to get students learning faster and building that, that momentum a lot quicker than if you went straight into PWK. So yeah, they, students are meant to find the answer through on, on their lab or through the quiz and submit it and immediately get that response if it's right or wrong. So yeah, as I mentioned, these are hands-on exercises as well as quizzes, which I think we'll get into a little later. So the way they've structured their courses is through a learning topic and then learning units. So a learning topic is a group of learning units and each unit should only take a couple of hours, whereas the overall topic, they aim to hit the 10 hour mark. Of course, you know, all things considered with people's experience and full well knowing that some students may take shorter, some, some students might, might take longer. That's their goal, it's that 10 hour mark. So how long will the course take? Well, there are currently 11 lear learning units within the, sorry, that should be learning topics within the PWK. And then there's four more which are in development. So that makes it 150 and then 150 by 10 hours. So that should be about 150 hours. But this is going to be a course where there is ongoing support. They're going to continue to add to the course catalog and improve it over time. So naturally that would go on. So there are two types of labs in the this course. So there are your more theory-based ones where you're reading about some sort of concept or protocol or theory or whatever it is. And then you'll be immediately given a quiz afterwards. Some topics may need you to go off and do additional research, whereas others you pretty much cover directly in that learning material. And there is also these hands-on practical labs where you will have to do something on some sort of machine. You would have to run this sort of check uh, program, which will then check if the configuration or whatever is correct. And then it will give you a flag if it is to submit on the portal. So what are the prerequisites for this course? Well, it seems like this course is aimed at people with some level of computing experience. Um, and obviously the more the better, but they did say anybody without any computing experience with the right mindset, with the right motivation and passion and drive should be able to come straight on, on, on the ground floor with this course and work their way up. So the topics are Linux Basics 1 and 2, Windows Basics 1 and 2, Networking, Scripting, Network Scripting, Linux Networking, Windows Networking, Crypto, Web Foundations, Active Directory, and Troubleshooting. I found this troubleshooting one to be quite interesting. They talked a little bit about it and it's basically how you apply a troubleshooting mindset is how, how they'll teach it. So we'll teach you how to, you know, troubleshoot network problems like VPN connections to scripting and stuff like that. I think this would be really good teaching those troubleshooting skills. So you have a bit more of a structure around 
troubleshooting. For anybody who's done the PWK, uh, when you're very frantic troubleshooting why this kernel exploit isn't working, um, you, you tend to waste a lot of time. So I think this that, that topic in particular would be really good. So how should you approach this course? Well, they mentioned a student should definitely take their time to understand all the terminology that's thrown about and don't be in a rush to compute, com complete it. They said, take your time, fuel your cross curiosity, and then keep coming back as more and more content is added over time. I found the question, will it make you job ready quite interesting? So they said the course is ideal to take you from sort of like a help desk level role to more of a system admin role, or maybe potentially to an entry level cybersecurity role. I think that little one, that last one is a little bit optimistic as typically you'd want somebody who knows a little bit more and actually can hit the ground running. But, you know, in terms of system admin, I think, yeah, it probably, probably could help quite a bit. Is there an exam? There is not. Students will basically get a certificate of, in, of completion when completing all the topics and everything, but there will not be any formal certification process. And how much is it? So this was something that I had to do a bit of digging. It wasn't included in the Q&A. This is only available in the annual pass, which costs about 2,499 US dollars. So it's ideal to take the PWK directly afterwards if you're going to do it. But this is really one of the points which I just find terrible. This looks like it's a good course, but to bundle it up only in a subscription model, which costs two and a half grand, you could probably learn all the same stuff on TryHackMe. Maybe not in as much detail and with as much attention to detail and research that Offsec do in their training materials, but yeah, that's, it's, it's a lot for the, the, the same basic concept. So I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if there will be a giant uptake on this course. So that's basically it. I hope you found that helpful and it saves you having to watch that whole 45 minute Q and A session, which just goes a lot of off topic a lot of the times. So hopefully I've uh, summarized this in a quick, concise matter for you. As always, if you found this video helpful, leave it a like, leave some comments down below about what you think about this course and the whole pricing structure and everything, and I will catch you in the next one.